Hey! I suggest here that you experimentally discover Kirchhoff's voltage law for series and parallel circuit. Instructions are displayed here. We are first asked to connect elements in series, measure the voltages, and find a conclusion. So I'm going to put one bulb here, and the other, after. And I will use the letters to respect the instructions which suggest that I measure VAB, VBC, and VAC. We will use the multimeter as a voltmeter. So, the COM terminal, which is the terminal common to all the measurements, I do not think about it, I use it systematically. For the other wire, I will plug it on the terminal, where there is the letter V. For the range, I can go directly, to 20 volts. Why? Because I know that the generator is a small battery, and that there is not much chance that I will find voltages higher than 20 V. Impossible. The 2 V caliber, is irrelevant at all. I respect the instructions. VAB first gives me 2.24 volts. VBC gives me 2.242. It is possible that the two bulbs are identical. And VAC across the assembly, 4.48 volts. The sentence that comes is that the total voltage is equal to the sum of individual voltages. But look! VAC equals VPN. Because here the total voltage is equal to the supply voltage. You can write, in a series circuit the sum of the individual voltages is equal to the supply voltage. Now, look again. Tension is an algebraic value. VAC equals minus VCA and therefore the algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed path, or loop is zero. All three conclusions are true. I'm going to switch to parallel circuit to do the same activity. There, I need a jumper to complete here. And I'm going to measure Therefore, VPN. The voltage across the battery, the supply voltage, which is 4.23 volts. VAC, measured at branch terminals, is also equal to 4.23 volts. And VD, gives me 4.23 volts. I want to say that in parallel circuit, the voltage is the same across each element. That's it for this video. Thank you.